Hi guys, this is Anish Witch here. Long time no see. I thought of launching this free product online, which, which is an advanced ambient light. So here are some of the renders that have come out of it. I used it in my latest animation, Hero. You can check it out, links in the description. So you can see over here the really nice volumetric lighting and candles and, and the lens effect on the monsters. And a little bit of tweaking, you can make it look like this with a nice little fog here. And you can also use it for other types of renders for low poly stuff. Um, and yeah, pretty cool. You can see different applications of it here, uh, and yeah, check it out in the description. So here's the light, and here's our character Nemo, he's gonna be launched for free soon. And also make sure you check out our Discord, I'm gonna put the links in the description. It's literally start to finish how we're building a game. So technically if you scroll right to the top, you'll see exactly how we've been progressing with our game, and you can even ask us questions. We're pretty much online throughout the week, make sure you check it out, links in the description. And yeah, let's get started. So if you want to have a good reference of how the light might look, you can go ahead and enable shadows like so. I have another light back here and let's go through some of the features. So once you're done lighting, you can always hide it like so. You can change it to a spotlight like so. You can scale the light over here. You can turn off the illumination and you can change it to a normal light. So technically just all the main features are here. You don't have to go through tons of different menus. It's just really user friendly over here. Change the fall off, the, the color. So you can obviously size the light over here. And the really cool thing about this light is if you're working with a ton of different lights and you'd like change the color, it's going to change the color of the outline. Same when you add volumetric fog, you're gonna have another sphere appear in the middle here. That'll give you an idea of what, uh, what type of fog it is and then you can also increase the brightness of the fog here and increase the size and if you change the color, it's also gonna change the color of that fog. So that makes it really easy to manage your editor and then you can always change the type of noise of the fog. If you want it smoky, cloudy or whatever and the mount scale and if you want wind and velocity in the fog. So yeah, once you download the light, it's all about testing and feeling what works for it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you a couple of examples. So here's an example of a scene that I made using the lights. So if I render it out, you can see it's a really fast render because it doesn't have global illumination. It just has ambient occlusion, uh, depth of field and glow. And you can see the settings here is just set to 180 and then anti-aliasing. So because it doesn't have global illumination, if you just have a dark spot, what I do is I just drag in, drag in another light and just illuminate illuminate that spot and adjust the settings and then that should make it look nice and as you can see it's illuminated that section really nicely and then I have one light here to illuminate the character and what I did was inside this light I clicked on the the light and I clicked on include and I just dragged and dropped the character in here so that means it's only affecting this character and not the scene so if I move this around it's not going to affect the scene and then I have one final light here at the top which is just the main like sunlight uh, I made it uh, the, I made the fall off infinite so it just is, it's an endless light and if I adjust the brightness it's going to adjust the entire brightness of the scene and you can always adjust the density of the shadows and everything if you want but yeah this was an example of how you could light a scene so so here's another example this is the hero parody I, I put a ton of spotlight volumetric lights outside so here's the spotlight that shines through the window as you can see I've enabled volumetric light and then I, I adjusted it so that it looks like it's shining through and as you can see the render time is super fast because it doesn't have global illumination so in the description you can go ahead and download it for free the only thing I ask from you guys is to give credit so if you're on Twitter make sure you mention the at motion miracles or the at motion dot miracles here or mention my Twitter, which is at Anishwidge. It'll be great if you guys can do that because I love seeing all the work that comes out using my products. So yeah, make sure you download the light. It makes things super easy. Uh, links in the description and I shall see you guys in the next video.